Всем привет! Hello everyone! My name is Alina and I am from the biggest and coldest country in the world. Can you guess what it is? Yes, you're right! It's Russia! It is time for the word of the week. And the word from me is challenge. Challenge is a call to do something very difficult to prove that you are strong and smart enough. Repeat after me three times. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Traveling in Russia is very challenging. First of all, because unfortunately Russian people don't really speak English. Very few people can, in Russia can speak English fluently, so you need to know at least a few words in Russian. And here is the first challenge for you. Can you say hello in Russian? Repeat after me. Здравствуйте. I know it's very difficult. Let's break this word into parts. Здравствуйте. Is it easier now? Well, if you can't say Здравствуйте, it's okay. If you're talking to your friends and family, you can say Hi in Russian. Привет! Let's say it once again. Привет! But don't say this word to people who are older than you to people who are in high social status and to strangers. To them you should say Здравствуйте. Also you can learn the most important word if you travel in Russia. Спасибо. It means thank you. Спасибо. Most of the travelers usually come to Moscow. You can see red square, different cathedrals and museums. However, if you want to travel to the second most important city in Russia, St. Petersburg, it is very challenging to get there. It takes four hours by train to go from Moscow to St. Petersburg. But it's totally worth it. St. Petersburg has a true wealth of attractions and experiences to offer travelers, from spectacular palaces to great museums, from peaceful parks to breathtaking cathedrals. You can also watch the raising of bridges on Neva River during the white nights in summer. Third challenge in Russia is our climate. Cold fashion winter makes most travelers stay indoors. But if you are brave and adventurous enough, you can enjoy winter sports. My favorite one is mountain skiing. However, it might be hard for a beginner. You can also enjoy skating, snowboarding, and the easiest one is tubing. Just sit on a large inflated tube and go down the slide. And don't forget to build a snowman and just to have fun. If you come to Russia in summer, you can also get to see the beauty of it. The birch trees, which represent Russian girls, white rivers, for example, Volga, and even mountains if you go to the south of Russia or east. However, it's really far. When I want to go swimming in the sea or hiking in the mountains, it takes me two days by train to get to that place. So, you need to enjoy the process. On the train, Russian people eat, play games and make friends. It is a special feeling and you can see how the nature changes. If you come to Russia, you should definitely try our traditional food. For lunch, Russian people always have 
two courses, a soup and a side dish with sausages or patty. In winter we eat borscht. You can also find it in Hong Kong, but in Russia it tastes different. Or xi, a soup with cabbage. In summer we eat akroshka. It is a salad with a fermented drink kvas, so it also looks like soup. It is very refreshing. Russian people can also treat you with our traditional pies. If you are lucky to have a Russian friend, they might also take you to a Russian village. It is quiet and peaceful there. You can see our traditional houses, which are called izba. Each house has a stove for heating and cooking. It also creates a warm and cozy atmosphere. In the garden next to the house, people plant fruits and vegetables. Of course, you can buy them in a supermarket, but your own vegetables are always natural and tastier. We also go to the forest to collect berries and mushrooms. After a long day, we go to the bathhouse, which is called Banya. It is similar to sauna, but more humid. Nowadays, most of people live in big cities and they come to the village for the weekends and summer holidays. But still, village plays important role in our lives. That is all for today about Russia and challenges which you can experience there. But still, traveling to our beautiful country is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye! Пока! And don't forget, to people who are older than you or strangers, you shouldn't say пока. You should say до свидания. До свидания!